Okay, so let's write our uh, remap point component. And uh, I just, uh, yeah, I just pulled in a, a fresh Python component and put in import run a script syntax. And we're going to pass in a, a vector, actually, a vector, and then a reference plane and a target plane. Uh, okay, so first we want the UV information right here, and we get that by um, using RS uh, plane closest point. And so we pass in three variables, and so a plane, a point, and a return point. And this is actually going to be false, and so I'll explain that. But so let's pass in a reference plane and vec and false. And I'll show you why we're going to do false. Uh, so if return point is omitted or true, then the 3D point. If return point is false, then our array containing the UV parameters, that's what we want, so we're passing in false. Uh, next, let's get the R distance. And we're going to use uh, distance to plane. And we're going to pass in reference plane and our vec. So that gives us the distance off the plane. And like I said, uh, if it's negative, if it's over on the other side of the plane, we'll get a negative um, value. So we don't need to worry about that at all. So that's really handy that it does that. Uh, so now that we have this bit of information and this um, piece of information, let's uh, calculate this and first we're going to get the UV we're going to plug in the UV to the plane and we're going to get a point and we're going to so we're going to call that point on plane so we're we're getting this point right here and we do that by RS evaluate plane so we pass in a plane and a parameter and it returns a 3d point so target plane and the parameter is the UV and it returns a point and so now we want to calculate the, this vector right here and it's the direction of the z-axis with a length of z distance so we're going to use vector scale uh, and we're going to name this vec off plane and vector scale so uh, the vector that we want is the z-axis of the target plane. We get that by having asking for the third or the um, item at index three, which is the z-axis, and we're going to scale it by z distance. So now, okay, so this point on plane is in terms of like the world origin. So let's say the world origin is down here. So, well, let's say it's right here at the corner. And so uh, this is a vector from the world to the UV point. Uh, the point on plane is a vector from here to here. And then we have a vector from here to here. So we're just going to add those together. So now we have a vector from the world to the point that we want. So we're going to do that, uh, call it new point and vector add point on plane and vect vec off plane and we're going to return that new point so a equals and we're going to pass this in uh, just right up there and so we want I'm going to name the first plane plane A and the second plane plane B just so I don't have to copy and paste or type more okay so we need a vector
a plane A and a plane B. Okay, so I have um, I've set up some planes and vectors up here. We're going to pass in the vector here. Uh, for plane A, we're going to use the x, y, and then uh, this plane for plane B. So let's make a sphere. Okay, so let's rotate this around so it'll be a little bit more clear. Okay, so that'll be, I think this will be clear enough. Okay, so what we're passing in is uh, this point as a vector and then the plane uh, this plane, I'll just do this. Okay, so a vector, and then this plane, and this plane. So you can see that our sphere is located in the same relationship to this plane as one is to this plane. So if we move this, let's move it over the, the Z axis roughly uh, so this one is over the Z axis so if we rotate this around you can see that it's staying above the Z axis and let's put this uh, you can see that it's moving in relationship so if we put it on the point the this uh, x-axis you can see that it's on the x-axis over here let's move it above let's move it below so let's move it above that corner it's above that corner let's move it below okay so it's working and uh, Let's, you know, just for demonstration purposes, let's put the YZ plane in. So now it's above the Z axis. For this plane roughly and so it's above the z-axis for that plane and let's make it negative it's going below so it's working out and uh, I decided to do um, instead of doing remap point to world and remap I just we did remap point so we don't need to uh, tackle both of these we can just use this uh, this code for uh, both of our uh, for when we need either one of these so so this <laughs> concludes the long kind of treacherous journey of getting all of these uh, getting all of our components that we wanted